Ah, food. Delicious food. Where would we be without the savory delight of roasted chicken wings? Or the sweet sensation of melting chocolate? Did you know that what you decide to eat, especially your favorite food, says a lot about who you are? Your favorite food can reveal a lot about your personality. People also view your personality differently depending on what foods are your favorite. A study by Dr. Alan Hirsch, a neurologist and psychiatrist, found that job satisfaction is related to your favorite savory snack. A person's job selection reflects his essential essence and his personality, he says. Food choices can provide insight into personality and character structure. If you'd like to know what kind of person you are based on what foods you ultimately always tend to crave, this is for you. Number one, you like sweet foods, especially chocolate. Hmm, have you got your hand down the cookie jar? Gotcha. You aren't afraid to get your hands dirty getting a taste of those sweet chocolate chip cookies every now and then, huh? Well, while you may not be agreeable about how much sweet food you eat, you are in everything else. According to a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, researchers found that people view those who love sweet foods as more agreeable, friendly, and pleasant all around. Another study revealed that those who chose to eat a piece of chocolate rather than a non-sweet food were found to likely volunteer more and help others in need. Aren't they just the sweetest? Number two, you take risks and enjoy spicy foods. Are you an adrenaline junkie at heart? Is risk-taking your true calling? A study by the Institute of Food Technologists revealed that if you enjoy risk-taking and intense stimulation, you are likely to enjoy spicy foods as well. In the study, Burns assessed participants using the Arnett Inventory of Sensation Seeking, or the AISS, a personality test to assess if you indeed are sensation seeking and motivated towards risk preferences. Subjects were given an active ingredient in chili peppers and had to rate how much they liked it. Those who enjoyed the food despite the increasing burn were found to have higher scores on the AISS test. Even a spicy taco is quite the risk after all, wouldn't you agree? Number three, your go-to snack is potato chips. Are you eyeing that family-sized bag of chips? According to Hirsch, it seems if you love potato chips, you are successful and ambitious. You have high expectations of yourself as well as others. You tend to get frustrated by life's inconveniences. Your competitive spirit aids you on your journey to success. According to Hirsch, those who prefer potato chips are the most aggressive, the go-getters, and the ones that never accept a no. Number four, snacking on pretzels. Would you rather choose a bowl of crunchy pretzels over any other snack? If so, you easily grow bored with routine and seek novelty in your life, according to Hirsch's study. Your decisions are based on your intuition and passion. Your emotions lead your life choices as opposed to logically breaking down a decision. This is especially true for your love life. As you pursue romance, you of course let your heart lead the way. You are excited by any challenge that comes your way, especially one involving eating an entire bag of pretzels. Number five, tortilla chips. Mmm, the deliciously warm taste of a buttered tortilla. What's better? Yup, you got that right, tortilla chips. If you can't seem to satiate your urge for munching tortilla chips, odds are you're a perfectionist. But this trait extends beyond your own actions to the community at large making you a humanitarian who is often distressed by inequities and injustices of society, according to Hirsch. Me? A perfectionist? Mm, one sec, let me handle something. I said bake the tortilla for 18 minutes, not 20. Mm. Uh, where were we? Number six, cheese. Delicious, soft, melty, splendid cheese. Love cheese? If you can't stop yourself from those extra toppings of cheese, this one's for you. You have a defined sense of right and wrong and treat everyone fairly. You're likely described as formal, conscientious, and always proper, according to Hirsch's study. If you love cheese curls, this means you also love to plan ahead and foresee future catastrophes. Number seven, bring on the meat. If you love meat, then according to Hirsch, it looks like you are the type who is gregarious and generous to a fault. Guess what? You're also the type to think of another's comfort before your own. Aw, you'll even risk your own comfort to please those around you. If you'll have a good steak, your friends can always count on you. Number eight, 
How do you like them crackers? Can't resist those irresistible crackers? Then you are contemplative and thoughtful based on Hirsch's studies. You base all your decisions on logic rather than emotion. Bizarrely enough, Hirsch claims that those who prefer crackers may easily find themselves romantically involved in an internet relationship. Hmm, you probably wouldn't mind having a date over the internet over a bowl of crackers, would you? Number nine, fruits and vegetables are the apple of your eye, then the apple to your pie, or a cucumber to your salad. Are you quick to fix yourself a salad bowl before heading out? Have you stocked your refrigerator full with all your salad essentials? If you are conscientious of your eating habits and like to eat a healthy salad or two topped off with some yummy fruits, then you have an open view and personality, according to a 2015 study published in the journal Appetite. You are willing to try new experiences and do new things. If you favor eating more healthy items as opposed to meat, you likely have a conscientious personality. And number 10, you adore high calorie foods. Are you not afraid to get your hands greasy? Do you choose the high calorie foods over the healthy option most of the time? This food choice is characteristic of the neurotic type. The 2015 study published in the journal Appetite found that neurotic people ate more high calorie foods, including sweets, and engaged more in emotional eating. So what's your favorite food? And does your personality match up? We hope we were able to give you insight into some of the ways your favorite foods can be a window to your personality. Did any of these points describe you? Leave a comment down below about your favorite food. Did we cover them all? Please feel free to share any thoughts you have. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with others trying to figure out food preferences. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.